Hey up, today's video is on a review and kind of a repair. I bought one of these tabletop furnaces on uh, eBay for $1.99 with shipping. Uh, I used it a few times and it kept on failing. It would get hot for a little bit and then it would just stop working. The display was on like it was still heating and I stopped using it, thought it was a piece of crap and stopped using it. Well, the other day I thought about uh, doing some redneck engineering and make it so it would just stayed on full blast and I would monitor it and turned it off when I it got to temperature. When I took it apart, I found the fuse holder down there had got hot. Um, so I bought a new one, repaired it, tested it, and it worked really, really well. Later on, I cast some silver with it, and again, it worked really, really well. So my opinion of this thing is good. Uh, for $1.99, I, I mean, I did a test of this button here, which you'll see later on in the video. Just love bronze. This is tin bronze, 10%. Beautiful chocolate uh, patina. Beautiful shiny kind of gold color. Anyway, um, my review of it is perfect. $1.99, can't go wrong, works really, really well. Um, but I had the problem. Uh, the wire inside, I think, was a little bit thin. So I changed it up some heavier gauge, and it's worked well for me. Um, so I think it's a good product. Uh, the rest of the video will be me repairing it and then doing uh, a melt and pouring that little button. Um, so anyway, uh, back in the bit. Just a few screws to undo. So we got power in, comes through over to the switch, through the switch, through here. This is broken, and this wire here has got hot, this yellow one. So I'm going to measure some resistance, see if it's a good circuit, uh, maybe solder this back. And then see how this works. If it doesn't, I'm going to rip it apart and just uh, maybe get a better rated switch and just turn it on and see what happens. Um, any anyway, back in a bit. Okay, so I was trying to get this apart and it all broke apart. The fuse has been got hot too. So I'm going to assume... There was a dry joint here, or one of these connections was loose. You know, because this got hot too. So something in here was loose that was causing extra current draw um, that, that got this hot. So, I think it's the other wires aren't hot, so there was something wrong in here. So I'm going to make a new one of these, put it all back together, get a new fuse holder and see how this works. So, back in a bit. Uh, this fuse I took out and it was all burnt away. Um, you can see the end here. Uh, and the whole fuse had kind of melted. Even though when I put a meter on the fuse here, even when I put a meter on the fuse, the fuse is still good. So I'm going to... I bought a new fuse. Uh, it's bigger size. I'm going to stick that in. Uh, connect up thicker wire. See if it works. Yep, that'll work. So, I'm going to try and knock these flakes out. So, 
So looking at this board, power comes in here, comes up through here, goes into here, comes back here. The other one is the mitral, comes over here. So power comes in and this goes down to this, which is then your heater element. Uh, okay, that's a ground. That's a shame that they made the ground yellow with the green stripe. Could have been more green. Anyway, so it comes in power here. This is probably the on off. And this looks like a temperature thing. So it goes onto this board, which is a shame that I'm not going to get this readout. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. But anyway, uh, let's get this new fuse on and we'll fire it up. So, if you, to me the power should go, so which one do you plug it into? If you do it on there, as you go in you're making contact. And if you put your finger on the outer edge, let me show you that. So see the outer edge there? That's metal. So so if you put the power in to here, that outer edge, so the power has to go on that one, um, just for safety. And this one's the phase, so that's going to go on there. So I'm going to clean you know what, I may just be able to just use that. I do like to get it in the hole though. That sounds so bad. Uh, I've got to get a fuse and then we can try this out back in a bit Okay It's probably been 10 minutes, so it says it's 934 I, don't I can do this with two hands And it's uh, ember inside so it's 1628. So it's getting there. We'll see, check up on it again in about 15 minutes. And then we'll put it in these. Uh, back in a bit. Okay, not quite 10 minutes. It's up to 998. Uh, let's see what it looks like inside. Whoa, it's really orange. Uh, 1870. So it's getting close. I could probably pour that as it is, but I want to make sure it's uh, properly melted. Uh, back in a bit. Okay, it looks like it's ready. It's been there for a while.
Okay, so I poured um, and ended up with the button that I showed you before. Uh, I'm happy. Uh, anyway, I hope this video helps. That if you have the problem with it turning off, uh, the problem is the fuse holder. Replace it and it's good to go. And the review, it's a cool thing. Uh, $1.99 with tax shipping. Uh, fantastic deal. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching and have a good day.